All right, everybody. So we're on my desktop here. You're going to go to uh, your preferred browser. I like Google Chrome. I'm going to open up a new window, and then I'm going to go to the website I'm working on today, which is atomicautosports.com. You're going to go to whatever your website is, forward slash WP dash admin to get us to the back end there. I already have my username and my password auto-populated, but whatever you use, you know, go ahead and type in your username and your password like you would normally do with WordPress and log in. Okay, so we see the back end of WordPress here just like we normally do. And what we're going to be doing in here today is going to the media library to optimize for search engines all of the different media that's on the website. So we do this so that when search engines are reading the website, they have a proper understanding of what it is they're seeing. Um, and to give you an example, if I open in a new tab, I'm gonna go to the front end of Atomic Autosports. We see a really cool website here, and this is what everybody sees on the front end. But what Google and the search engine see is gonna be on the back end, which is what this code is when I click inspect. These are what search engines are reading. And what we're gonna be doing in the media library is giving them context as to what they're seeing here. So if I look at this here on this element right here, um, we see that right here we have uh, the image. So I'm gonna go into the media library and do some optimization so that uh, when the search engine reads it, there's some alt tags, meta tags, and, and, uh, and a name that will give it some more context. And then once I go ahead and do that, I'm going to refresh the screen and then you'll see what I'm talking about. All right. So now that we're in here in the media library, which is just on the left-hand side here, media library and WordPress, I usually start at the bottom and work my way up. So we'll start this. And we can see here, we have alternative text, we have title, and we have caption, and we have description. So uh, alternative text, title, and description are the three that I fill out. The caption, if you fill that out, will actually show up on the front end of the site. So I'm going to go ahead and alternative text. So we're describing in the alternative text tab, we're describing to the search engines what this is. So this is the Atomic Autosports logo. And then in the title, I'll put also Atomic Autosports logo. And then in the description, I will write that this is the logo for Atomic Auto sports and that's it you could see that it automatically saved and i will rifle through here all these you could see that none of them have alternative texts or anything but when i go all the way back to where i just was there we can see that all right so what i'll do now is i'll look and i'll see there's a couple other logos here so i'm going to go ahead and copy this and then go to the next one, this one here, and that's a Atomic Osworth logo. The description is Atomic, and it's cropped, so I'm gonna put the cropped, smaller, Atomic Autosports logo. And then I'll put, same thing here, Atomic Autosports logo, cropped. Good, so now the search engines are reading it, they see that, and they say that's the Atomic Autosports logo, and it is the cropped one. So then I'll go to this one. This is a PNG. So Atomic Autosports logo, Atomic Autosports logo, transparent PNG. I'll put that in the description. And we're good. Very nice. All right, so we got the, the logo covered. Let's go on to the next bit, which is a video. This is the header video. So if I play it, you can see that's what uh, shows up on the front end there. So I'm going to put, that That looks good for a title, Atomic Autosports header video, but in the description, 
I'm going to write a loop video of race cars on a track representing Atomic Auto Sports. There's a little bit of an art to this process. It's not like um, you're just going to, you know, repeat over and over again. You're going to have to do a little bit of discernment. Um, so I'm describing what this is. It's a loop. It's a video. There are race cars on there. They're on a track, and it's representing Atomic Autosports with the branding in there. Here we go. There's that one. Okay, so this is... This is where it helps to go to the front end of the website. See my puppies here. He has no interest in this. Um, we can see, actually, I don't even think that's on the front end of the site anymore, that image, but we're gonna we're still gonna describe it. It's in the media library. So this is an image of an older vehicle with keys. I'm going to do the same thing, alternative text in the title, the caption, I'm going to get rid of that. And then the description, I'm going to put the same thing in this case, image of an older vehicle with keys. That's what it is. Aha, uh -huh. now this is the, the front end, how we can serve you. So these are race, car, gears, and mechanical items. This image is behind the, back to the front end, how we can serve you block. It's good. All right, here we go. So this one is a racetrack. So it's a photo of cars on, and I know this, and you might want to do this for your clients or for yourself. This is at what's called Nelson Ledges here in Ohio. So this is photo of cars on the Nelson, whoops, emojis, on the Nelson Le Ledges racetrack. Uh-huh. Okay, I might even do photo of Atomic Autosports cars on the Nelson's Nelson Ledges racetrack. I can talk today. Very good. Now the description, I would just say two cars on a racetrack in Nelson Ledges, Ohio, and that's just fine. And you're going to go ahead and repeat this process for all of these different things here, right? And you want to get specific. So, you know, here's some context. This is a, <clears throat> uh, this is an image of a podcast that my particular client does here. So um, it's called Lake to Grid. And I'm going to get more specific in this alternative text. So it's a podcast in the alternative text section I'm going to write. It's a podcast cover for late to oh boy, grid season two and then i'm going to put chris ludwig and then i'm going to put data loggers oh boy i can't type loggers data acquisition now this is important because you don't have to necessarily write in complete sentences here right we're just telling the search engines what it is that they're seeing and um, putting keywords in there. So it doesn't have to be complete sentences. And then in the description, I'm going to do podcast cover for late to grid. Now, here's something important to note too, right? So that's going to, this description here is going to go for all of these. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop that in. You can see here, I'm just going one after another here because there's a lot of them. That's not one of them. Description. I'm just going to go ahead and pop that in there because this is going to be the same for all of these, right? 
They're just, it's a description. It's a podcast cover for Late to Grid. Mm-hmm. I'll go ahead and do that for all of them. Mm-hmm. There we go. Cool. And you can see I'm just going on and on here, and you can imagine me finishing all of them. There's a lot of them, but uh, yeah. And then what I'm going to do is I'll just jump in, and this one here in the alternative text, I'll say podcast cover for Late to Grid Season 2. You can see it wants to autofill, but we're not doing that because this is different, and this is the cross over show. Garage Heroes in Training. Cool. Wonderful. This is, I pop that in there, season two. What you need to know. How to prepare for the event and get the most of your time at the track. Wonderful. So I'm going to go ahead and do this for all of them. All right. So that's how you optimize the media library. It really helps. I'll open up another website to show you what I'm talking about. One that I know has an optimized media library. You know, after you re-index this. So if I go to this website, Dr. Paul Vanek, Mentor Plastic Surgery, right-click his image, inspect it. We can see here it is. We can see the source. That's the file. We can see the title. Dr. Vanek homepage, alt is Dr. Vanek, and then a description is Dr. Vanek's headshot. And that's what people will, that's what the search engines will see. All right, guys.